Hey kids, it's Pastor Todd. I'm here at a construction site. You can see behind me they're they're building a house, but it doesn't look quite ready to move in yet, does it? Would anybody want to live in that house right now? I don't think I would, especially with all the rain that's falling or going to be falling. Um, That roof doesn't look too good. You notice it's pretty open, and that's because it's still under construction. They're still measuring boards, and they're got an awful lot of nails to still hammer. And um, you notice there's a, lot, there's a lot of tools when you're building a house. You have to make sure you get everything cut just right and measured just right. And um, the reason I'm, I'm here to talk to you today is this makes me think about a verse in the Bible, Philippians 1.6. And it says that, um, it tells us that he who began a good work in you is going to be faithful to complete it. Now, that was the Apostle Paul writing in the Bible telling us that God, God who began a good work in us, is going to be faithful to complete it. And, you know, it's really good for us to know that. We really need to hear that sometimes, that God is is going to finish what he started. Because the truth is that all of us are a work in progress. Whether we're, we're, we're just young little kids, maybe just a couple years old, or whether we're in elementary school, maybe we're in third or fourth grade, or maybe we're in seventh or eighth grade, or maybe you're even in college, and um, God is still working on us. In fact, it tells us in the Bible that God's going to be working on us all the way until we're home in heaven with him. There's a song that I remember singing when I was uh, a kid. It's, it's called, He's Still Working on Me to Make Me What I Ought to Be. It took him just a week to make the moon and stars, the sun and the earth, and Jupiter and Mars. How loving and patient he must be. He's still working on me. Uh, working on me. And, um, you know, sometimes we get disappointed with ourselves. We, we don't... Uh, we're not able to do all the things we want to do. Sometimes we make bad choices and we think, boy, how could I be so stupid? And we get a little bit upset or maybe we get upset with other people. Maybe we're upset that our little sister doesn't act the way she's supposed to act. Maybe sometimes you get upset that your older brother doesn't act the way he's supposed to act. We can keep trusting God that he is working on us, that he's not going to quit, that he's not going to give up. And do you you know what he's making us into being? You know what he's doing in us? You know, in this house, we look and we can figure out what they're doing. They're they're building a roof up there. There's a garage. Um, I mean, they have a lot left to do, but we kind of have a picture of what the finished, finished project is. Well, God, what he's doing in our lives is he's making us like Jesus. Yeah, can you believe that? tells us in Romans 8, 29, that he's making us into the image of Jesus. What that means is he wants to make us love each other as much as Jesus loves us. He's working on us so that instead of thinking about what we want all the time, he's helping to make us so that we'll think about what other people need and, be, and care about them. He's working on the way we talk so that we say good things and we don't speak lies or or hateful words that's the kind of work god's doing on us and um you know just like a a builder might use a hammer to put nails in or he might use a tape measure or he might use a a saw to cut the boards off you know sometimes you got to trim them down to be just a little piece of wood and make them the size you want Well, God doesn't use hammers and nails on us, uh, thankfully. But what he does use is he uses circumstances of life, hard times like, like right now, to cause us to need to pray to him more. Or he uses a grown up in our life, a parent that gives us a punishment when we do something wrong to help teach us not to make those wrong choices. He uses teachers to help teach us how to work hard and to learn and to be smart. God uses all kinds of tools. He uses his word, the Bible, to teach us. He uses his Holy Spirit to be at work in our hearts. God uses all kinds of tools. And and I guess the thing I want to leave you with is that God is working on you. And sometimes it might be hard and sometimes it goes slow, but he's never, ever going to give up on you. 
And he's not going to give up on the other people around you that he's working on too. So keep trusting him. Be patient with yourself. Be patient with the other people that you live with. And trust God to finish the job that he started. Well, that's all for now, kids. I'll let you go and hope to see you again soon. Take care.